Good day everyone, just a quick extension on the last video about audio probes, um, uh, just expanding on that. Um, basically, uh, as I showed you in the last video, you can use an audio probe and you can um, go through the circuit um, bit by bit and find where the, um, where the problem lies in the circuit with the audio probe. And um, I, I mentioned that video that you can um, just strum the guitar and listen to the, um, to the signal as you go through. Instead of strumming the guitar, you can actually replace the guitar pretty much with a um, signal generator um, or a function generator. And um, I've just got one on my phone here, um, Android phone. You can get them for Apple um, uh, iPhone or iPads or yeah, t Android tablets or whatever you got. Um, there's a lot of these programs around. The one I'm using is called Function Generator. I mentioned that in another, another video. It's a good one. Um, and basically, you just hook that into the input of the, of the effect. Um, and you use an audio probe uh, and just go through and find where the fault lies. You'll be able to hear the tone that you've got set up on the function generator as you go through the, the circuit one bit at a time. So it, it's a very useful way of finding, um, finding a fault. And I'll just turn the amp on now. I haven't got an audio probe. I've just got it plugged directly in the amp. And um, this is a tre uh, uh, the tremulous loon uh, functioning, obviously. It works properly, uh, the tremulous loon. And you just hear out the other end what it sounds like through the amp. And just remember when you're doing this sort of stuff, keep your amp down low because um, you never know what sort of sounds you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get coming out the other end. And if you've got your amp up full blast and you're sitting in front of it, um, yeah, you can fill in the gaps. So that's the test tone. And you can see being a tremolo if you adjust things like the speed. Down obviously. That little crackling is actually this um, DC jack I just noticed um, tonight that it's playing up. I have to replace it. And that's obviously full speed and smooth and yeah. So that's just an example of the function, um, function or signal generator plugged into the front of it. I'll just switch that off. Oh, and sorry, actually, before I do that, um, yeah, that, that slide is actually the frequency. So it goes down and up. Kind of gets annoying when you get quite high but yeah you can adjust it probably I usually leave it on about I don't know around there about 400 four to five hundred um, Hertz um, uh, yeah so you just plug that in I'll just stop that you just plug that into the front of the um, of the of the of the effect and then use your audio probe um, to poke around and find um, uh, you know to help you narrow down where the problem is just another fault diagnosing um, technique um, with guitar pedals. That's it for this one, just a quick one. I uh, hope, hope it helped and thanks for watching.